Okay, we're gonna and, and uh, we're back, and this is the final attempt of using the computer to record. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Man, I should close some because the battery is probably going to die. Mm-hmm. Now that I take a look at it, damn. Uh, do you have the two okay, let me ports? S- I should do that. <laughs> I should plug in the power. Plug it in, suck my dick. Plug it in, suck my dick. Oh, this is cool. So this splitter I got mm-hmm. that uh, Apple advertises, they charge seventy dollars for this. Just to have two ports. Yeah, yeah, because it was a good idea to only have the one USB C <laughs> port because that's the future, you know? It's like let's simplify things and now you need a million fucking adapters. Yeah. So this one that's a regular USB HDMI and then the USB C. Apparently that's not USB C. Get the fuck out of here. It's like only a charge thing because it's not Ugh. gonna yeah, it's not gonna mount Ugh. that. So seventy dollars for a fucking USB splitter. We should have gotten the shit off Amazon, baby. The non Apple official Apple is such a fucking garbage company, dude. No, but but you can't have green bubbles, man. We've talked about it. I would love to fuck, but also I feel like their computers are pretty good. They last like long. my fucking yeah. my Mac. This, this MacBook my, this MacBook completely died within ten months of having it. I've had my Mac. Had to get the whole, that's your the bad whole, energy, the whole logic yeah. board replaced. That's all. That's all your bad and bad, all of his like risky karma, risky uh, pornography, pornography, child pornography, all the yeah. all the dangerous. Websites I go to to buy Stav's birthday presents. <laughs> oh no, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait, dude. Did you guys buy me dick pills? I literally saw it today. Oh no, what is it, man? Oh god, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I didn't you want it off the Silk Road. Dude. I didn't want. I didn't want to tell. I didn't want to tell. He had to Adam share beforehand. it with someone. I've been yeah, keeping yeah. it secret for like a week. <laughs> god damn it. It's too funny. Well, Every time I forget about it. You'll find out tomorrow night at Caroline's. I forget yeah. about it, and then I think about it again, and it makes me laugh. <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck, dude. I'm so stoked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll find out, but not you broke motherfuckers if you didn't get tickets, because the shit sold out. Yeah, very... Yeah, thank you to thank everyone you, who fucking yeah. bought tickies. Uh, we're gonna get Buck Wild, you know. I think it was Nick going Buck Angel. To we're Caroline. gonna get Buck we're Angel. Gonna- <laughs> we're all gonna get our cocks chopped off. <laughs> we're gonna get pussies, but we're gonna still look like men, man. Yeah. Do me a favor, Puck handlebar Daniel. mustaches, tribal tattoos. Oh yeah, big hard cocks or er, pussies, big wet pussies. It's gonna be awesome, man. It'll be pretty cool. I can't wait to have a pussy. It'd be cool to be friends with Buck Angel. Buck Angel's band is pretty good too. What kind of Buck band? Cherry. Buck Cherry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're crazy, bitch, but you look so good when you fuck my pussy. <laughs> I dream of doing you all night. Wish I had a dick, but I still have pussy. <laughs> Buck Cherry's the worst band. It's unbelievable. It's like a parody. The, the, the of worst what a band, band of would all be. time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They I don't should think get there's a the fucking worse band than Buck Cherry. They should get all um, the Creed hate for 100%. Don't you even attempt to disagree with me, Adam. Uh, Adam, are you saying... Or I will put you right back on... No, I only know the Crazy Bitch song, but it's not very good. <laughs> what yeah. other songs do they have? Yeah, don't don't get out of line, man. You're going right back to that girl voice. You got, you're putting me right back yeah, on that. All the Kings of Leon songs, for starters. Oh, yeah, they're not very good. Those are all... Sex is on fire. Those are all originally Buck Cherry songs. <laughs> oh, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so funny that they wrote that as a lyric in a popular song. Your, your, your sex, sex is, on, is fire. on fire. Dude, it's fucking poetry. <laughs> Like man. what an eleven-year-old. Right? Oh man, that's poetic. Uh, have you ever seen? You know those shreds videos. You yes. Know those? Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen the Kings of Leon one? It's probably the best one. Mm-hmm. They're at like Glastonbury are, Festival or something. What are these videos? They're uh, they're like they re-edit. They are re-dub you, someone and it looks and it sounds like shit. Yeah, it sounds like the shit. The Van Halen jump one is also very. The good. The Van Halen one's pretty. Might good. as well come, come in your pants because you have. A small dick. Come. Come <laughs> in your jeans. You're gay and you saw a man's ass. All right. Well, that's great. But we got a lot of stuff to cover today. Uh, we got a lot, guys. It is Valentine's Day. It's, Val- uh, it's Val- Valentine's Day. <laughs> Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? It's Galentine's that's when, Day. No, Valentine's Day is mm-hmm. when it starts 20 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> how about we go Dutch? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and you pay with your part with a coupon. <laughs> How about we go Dutch and you whip out a 50% off coupon at Outback Steakhouse? <laughs> That's a form of payment. I paid half with the coupon. <laughs> Bitch. I went to community college for marketing. Don't fucking come at me with that shit. Uh. Go ahead and suck. I love destroying women with logic. Valentine's yeah. Day, baby. I love destroying women with logic. Shut up, dude. <laughs> I have a cold right now. No, you don't. Mm. Yes, you I do. You like always. You, I know. You I stayed always up say, all night gaming. I know. I have oh, a you're gaming. crippling gaming addiction now. You made fun of me for gaming. You played one video game, and now you can't get your dick. It really anymore. is. <laughs> I spent forgot the whole night to j- eating. I forgot to jack off for three days. Fucking tackies. Oh, did all you night. get tackies? I did not get tackies. <laughs> are there any leftover? Them what are is good. that? It's, it's a libertarian snack. Yeah, it's no. like it's like Ch- Big Cheeto is rooting. Yeah. It's isn't it Hispanic? It's like tackies. Blue leg, yeah. No, is it's it, is it made by the Andy Caps? No, that's different. Andy Caps hot fries. I thought tackies was like fucking Hispanic shit. Like, because it, it it's, probably it's always in the shitty Greek, po- dude. No, Taki. Although Taki yeah. is a guy's name. Yeah, no, it's a Greek. Yeah, snack. I had an I had an uncle Taki, Theo Taki. That's a good name, actually, Taki. Taki, like Taki of shit. No. Yeah. Like Kostaki. I love to Taki to little kids on the internet. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> I was laughing about like the, and if if Shane Vader, if resident pedophile, oh, is, is listening, he's come on, don't be mean. I'm not being mean. I'm describing him. Continue, continue. Her, yeah. her, yeah. as, yeah. as, her. She chooses to identify, yeah. which is as a trans pedophile. <laughs> I don't think those are her, her pronouns. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's her, the pronoun is she, but you have to say she with a bunch of like saliva at the front of your mouth. She. Because you're just thinking about those kids. <laughs> she. <laughs> My preferred pronoun is she. <laughs> Anyway, what about anyways, uh, yeah, so uh it, the 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 manifesto typing scene from Jerry Maguire. Right. You strip the VO out, put the, the background music back in, and then interspersed with shots of like, you know, decoy. Can you bring the, right. the condoms? Right. And then yeah. back to Tom Cruise like sweating and typing. That's good. Yeah. That's good stuff. And then and then it just ends real quick with him like bursting into the office with like the paper and everyone cheering. <laughs> uh, uh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah. And then if you want, Someone throw, get throw a couple that. of the ends with the beep in there also. Yeah. Always classic. When he's talking to Cuba Gooding Jr. Yeah. <laughs> Cuba Gooding Jr. says something ridiculous. Ridiculous. Hello, Newman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, the Hello, Newman thing works with any movie where there's somebody says a word that starts at an end. Literally any word. Yeah. yeah. N I would work a lot better. Mm hmm. Nincompoop. The Nightmare Before Christmas. The, the n- Before <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> but a really long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the n- <laughs> uh, Um, hmm, what else? Not. Nah. Hmm. Nin. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's good. Yeah, Teenage Mutant Turtles. It does sound like <laughs> that. Actually, probably was a favorite of yeah, young racists everywhere. Yeah. Um, Maybe like the N apostrophe 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 or asterisk. asterisk. Yeah, before Christmas, and then it's Jack Skellington goes into the Kwanzaa tree. <laughs> oh. Do they have a tree? <laughs> yeah. They have like no, a, menorah. a menorah. It's a black menorah. Yeah. Well, they have a tree, too. They combine Christmas and, and Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. That's sick. I want to go to like a Kwanzaa celebration. Yeah. I want to go to Australia. Do you? We should go to Australia. No, I don't. Why not, dude? Let's go. I don't know. I, do watched, I watched that Simpsons In episode. Brisbane? I watched that Simpsons episode, Bart versus Australia. Yeah, yeah of course. That's a great episode. Man, and you know, I've seen that fucking... Uh, all right, mate, you win. Uh, so you've played Knifey Spoonie before. I've, <laughs> I've seen that joke uh-huh. hundreds of thousands yeah, of times yeah, yeah. in the last 20 years. Every fucking time. I was laughing about it for a day. It's so good. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah. When Homer gets the uh, toilet to go all the right, other mate, way. All right, mate, you win. Uh, so you've played Knifey Spoonie before. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we should go. Yeah. You know they eat kangaroo meat. I think I brought this up before. But and that, that blew my mind. Yeah. yeah. Ostrich, I get it's a big ass bird. 
<laughs> it's a big chicken. But kangaroo is like, chicken. yeah, giant chicken. <laughs> but a kangaroo is like, I don't know, kind of a That's dog, their national horse. symbol, yeah. A kangaroo is like a dog and a horse it's put like, together. Yeah. Right? Wouldn't you say? But uh-huh. it's also like what they identify as like their best animal. But no, it's like a deer mixed with a rat. Yeah, it's a big rat. It's yeah, a so jumpy, why would you want to eat that shit? Yeah, it's jumpy like a deer. Yeah, it is rat like. Kind of also kind of like a monkey because it's muscular. It's not a monkey. It's like muscular. Monkeys though. can climb good. It's more jumpy. It's jump like a rabbit. Much. It's like a rabbit. Rabbit rat. Rabbit rat. Rabbit it's a rabbit rat. Deer. rat. Giant mm-hmm. giant <laughs> rabbit rat deer. Yes. Yes. <laughs> With a pouch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the pouch is big too. Yeah, pouch you got ears. Yeah. They're furry. There's definitely one guy that There's just listened slime. to that and he's like, what the fuck was that? I, I would be interested to see where they evolved from. They, there's They're slime marsupial. inside the pouch. Oh, shit. That shit gets good, fucking good. wet. You dude. can they fuck good. pussy. <laughs> yeah. Let's hold down a kangaroo and fuck its pouch. <laughs> I, no, I want to I open the pouch and just pour <laughs> gallons of LSD in there Ooh. and see what happens. Ooh. The kangaroo kills itself. <laughs> just jumps <laughs> off of a fucking big ass cliff. It becomes even cooler. Oh, uh, it would be tight. Put on a tie dye shirt. Yeah. Did you see that mm-hmm. movie? Starts coming up with Ben and Jerry's flavors. <laughs> oh, oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Shouts out to Ben and Jerry. What movie? Kangaroo Jack with. Uh, I saw Kangaroo Jack me off. You, did you ever see the movie? Anthony Anderson jerked me off. It was really good in a, in a Hawaiian shirt Kangaroo Jack was really good Uh, No it's not very good But oh. it's good to watch When you're stunned I but watched a bunch movie. of What's Kangaroo Jack? Is this another one of those Jack Black movies For children? Yeah mm-hmm. it's him as a kangaroo Man You want to Like I mean This show aside You want to talk about things That require zero talent And have way too <laughs> uh-huh. much success uh-huh. Uh-huh. Jack Black What a fucking career and he's No been he, in like, he He's can... been in like Two good movies What are they? Uh, Saving Silverman. Saving Silverman is That's such a good, a good movie. movie. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, School of Rock was good. Uh, no, I didn't see School of Rock. It's pretty good. It's heartwarming. The one with the record the, store. The, no, the English kids. patient. He was, he was not in the English. Yes, patient. he is. He is. Yeah, he's the patient. He's the doctor. No, he's not. Yes, he is, dude. Jack Black saves Black him with the power the of laughter. Patient. Yeah, Jack Black. Patch Adams is That's him. Patch Adams. He does. I know. What happens in Patch Adams? Like they trust a guy and he like rapes Patch Adams. Yeah, wife. it's Patch Adams about a guy that like fakes <laughs> his up, way dude. into medical school. It's sad as shit. And then yeah, it is really sad. And then some weird guy and his wife's like, I don't know about this guy. And Patch is like, Nah, it's all chill. And then he like kills her, I think, and rapes her, which is yeah. tough. Patch Adams kills and rapes her. Yeah, Robert. It turns out Patch Adams was, was Tyler Durden. The How about Snatch Adams? He's like, "All oh, right, what are you sick for? Don't be sick, you fucking idiot, you fucking slag. What are you five? You gonna fucking crawl because you got cancer, you little fucking faggot?" <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm from I'm from East Turdshire, mate. Yeah, Turdshire. I'm from Turchester. <laughs> <laughs> it's downtown London, the worst fucking place in the fucking world. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you got fucking leukemia, you little bitch, you gotta act like a fucking bitch because you got leukemia. <laughs> yeah, I'm Snatch Adams. Get it? Yeah, I, get it. I get you, it. I don't yeah. think Woo! you do, mate. All right. Crikey. He's had enough. <laughs> He's had enough snitch. Okay. <laughs> it's time for tea. That sounds a lot like you're a South African. He's had enough. Adam, do not fucking deconstruct the bit while we are. I'm in not. Riff, I'm not. While we are in Rift City. He's just trying to when land it is high cleanly, tea man. in Rift City. Yeah. It sounds like you're South African, boy. Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. Might. <laughs> Uh, call him gay snitch Yeah <laughs> You get him snitch um, um How about uh Yeah How about uh Hatch Adam What's the one with uh, cr- Crash Crash no, Adams Not Crash Adams What's the Will Smith movie Hatch, Hitch Adams Hitch Adams. Adams Yeah there you go That's good He's like hey Kevin James I'm gonna let me t- yeah. tell you how to fuck How about How about <laughs> That's a good how about Will Hatch? Smith That's <laughs> Hey Kevin James Hey What's Kevin up, James <laughs> Hey man Uncle it's Phil. me Will Smith You listen to the Adam Freeland impression Of Will Smith <laughs> <laughs> Be cool, baby. Y'all, y- y'all motherfucker, seen Independence Welcome Day. Welcome to Earth, baby. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. <laughs> I ain't got time for no damn aliens. 
<laughs> Man, you're so good at Carlton, impression. you gayer than a motherfucker, boy. <laughs> My impressions will come out one of these days. Not mm-hmm. maybe not this episode. How about but you one will come yes, out one of these I was, days. Yep. Yeah. I was thinking that same it's not damn true, thing. Dude. Fucking rack them, dude. <laughs> How about good. at, at <laughs> Adam Friedland? <laughs> and it's like and I'm like, gay. You're sick. <laughs> 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 They're like, what the fuck is wrong with this man? He's giggling like an imbecile. That would, a sick child's that face. That would be a good movie. Patch <laughs> <laughs> Adam Friedland. I don't see what. <laughs> it's just, this giggling bitch. <laughs> oh, Getting beaten up by kids with cancer. <laughs> oh, fuck. Speaking of beating up kids, dude, I, I mean, I told oh, yeah, you guys no, already. Yeah. Run it again. I was in, yeah, I was in Flatbush the... yesterday and I'm buying a hat off some guy on the street. Very nice. As I do, I gotta go out, conduct my business by. Course. Street hats, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I fucking like right behind me. I hear a thud, and I turn. All these black kids are yelling, <laughs> and there's this fucking like maybe eleven year old girl being thrown to the ground. Jesus. It was a girl, fucking yeah, girl, yeah. Man. And, uh, and it looks like a grown man's throwing her, and there's all these kids swarming, and I'm like, I don't know what's happening. Fuck. This is none of my fucking business. So sure. I, you know, I, I keep walking, and these two black guys are watching, and one of them says to the other one, like, "Man, if that were me." I would have killed that kid. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't say anything. That's obviously just, uh, that grown man was in the right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That kid probably, you know, spit on his shiny shoes. No, nah, what I imagine happened from looking at it is that like that guy was walking his daughter home and then some other girl who's like a bully probably did oh, something nice. to his daughter. And then, uh-huh. he, he, and threw, then he beat the girl. Well, he, he threw her to the ground, which is like, don't do that. But, no. I, you know, she like, they, yeah. it looked like he was dr- trying to break up a fight or oh, whatever. Oh, okay. All right. I give him, I thought he was just wailing on his I child. I thought he was just beating a child. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to deduce based on like no one intervening or whatever yeah so i guess the girl deserved it or it could just be you know good old fashioned so, you know what child maybe, maybe think mm-hmm. twice before you get into that me too stuff you know <laughs> we don't know what these that's ladies the clear are. lesson from that anecdote. maybe they're <laughs> maybe they're the bullies <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know that's really sad though to see just in the middle of the day the yeah you saw day. some pretty hilarious thing. i saw yeah i saw a mom it was like late at night on the train. She How about Thatch Adams and it's Margaret Thatcher? Yeah. That's good. I'm a dumb bitch. I'm, I'm, me. A, I'm going. It's the same character. I'm before. going to bomb the Falkland Islands. I'm from Turdshire, mate. <laughs> Turdshire. <laughs> the toughest neighborhood in downtown London. In London town. <laughs> ah, fuck. Yeah. I would love to. I want to go over to England and marry me like a fucking Mary an Poppins. ethnic. Yeah. An ethnic huh. British person. Oh, like I like want, an Indian I like British a switch woman. up. This like, Caribbean British yes. one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Give me like one of those. that fucking one we met that was a modo. I'm a modo. I'm a modo. Yeah, when Nick and I were like at a mic once, this girl was like, we're, she's like, what do you do? We we're like, oh, we're both unemployed. <laughs> she's like, you should just do modeling. That's what I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, a modo. modo. I'm a modo. <laughs> I'm, I live in Brixton and I'm a modo. I, I'm, I'm a, a modo. I want a little Brixton model. Holler at your boy if you're a model from Brixton and you want to get yeah, citizenship dude. in America. I used to have a really big crush on uh, MIA. I used to think she was really hot. Of course. <laughs> that's, was, a, that's, uh, a pretty standard, was, uh, that's a pretty standard little hip. You know what MIA stands for? Is... Uh, Missing in a yeah, no, it's maybe know. Indian. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know why they call that's the, like a Larry the Cable guy. Joke. That's not yeah, bad. That's not yeah. bad. <laughs> Mail that to him. Y'all listen to the MIA girl. Well, what's her name stand for? Maybe Indian. I don't know. <laughs> Get her done. Um, you tell him, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> he tells it like it is. How about that, folks? Snatch at him. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, talking about where's where's the lorry? Mm-hmm. Throw another shrimp on. The <laughs> Dan Whitney, what's yeah. a lorry? A uh, cab? It's a, tr- it's a truck or a oh. truck? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. A cab. <laughs> Fucking imbecile. What are the cabs called there? 
They're called cabs. Round a, round They're a called dooley. Fags. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. You can't have to smoke cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're called fag mobiles. That's really good. <laughs> just going there and just calling the wrong yeah. things fags. <laughs> hey, what are you fags up to? <laughs> no, I thought it's an English. <laughs> Everything is a fag. Everything's yeah. a fag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought I mean, that's what you. <laughs> you're like, who's that fag? You're like, the queen? <laughs> Uh, yeah, is that, is that what you call her? A fag? <laughs> no. no. She's called the, the queen. It's a title of respect. No, I thought, I thought it was, she was called a fag. <laughs> That's what you That's awesome, dude. We should go to England. Go to England just for that bit. Yeah. Dude. I thought, I'd like this is one of those episodes. $5,000 like, in I'd like tickets. some fags and fags. This is one of those episodes that's sort of just for us. Yeah, but yeah, this, I'm this having like, fun. Though. This is like when we did that greatest riff of all time. Oh yeah, yeah. And no one, no thought, one thought was. Thought was Who cares? Yeah, that, that was. That's awesome. the funniest thing. We that, were at Target for like two hours afterwards. Me and Nick just laughing about that. Yeah, I just gayest forget it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the president has authorized the use of the gayest bomb of all time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. Uh, it's the mother of all bombs. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would like to issue a correction earlier. I, miss st I misstated. In between denying the Holocaust. <laughs> I miss that dude. Spicer. Yeah. Spicy. He Young ruled. Spice. He was great. Yeah, and now we got fucking that fucking bitch. Yeah. Mike Huckabee's son. Sarah Huckabee's, yeah. Mike, yeah, it's Mike Huckabee's son. Son, <laughs> that f that fag said, in the British sense. It's just British. No, yeah, you yeah. say you said it the slur way. No, well, I said it the guess. British right. way. He's using slurs <laughs> on the show. Look who's using that's a, slurs. That's a book I'm gonna write for my son when he's born. Yes. Look who's using slurs. <laughs> it's just drawings I've done of Elmo and Grover saying <laughs> all the different racial all slurs. All the good ones. <laughs> yeah. There's uh, the book called there's a racial slur at the end of this book and grover's like i can't wait to find out what the racial slur is and then he gets to the end and it's cookie monster calling him the n-word it's like it's you grover you were the slur this whole time that's deep bro yeah because by wanting to hear slurs you mm. become the n-word yeah so. I'm going to get into children's books. There's like naughty children's books they uh -huh. sell at Urban Outfitters. Oh, right. Yeah, Go yeah. the fuck to sleep. That's the big one. Yeah. That was the first one, I believe. Yeah. Narrated by Samuel L. Jackson. I had, I'm had. i never going to do it, but I wrote I wrote it, and then I was going to get an illustrator to do uh, the little engine that had rich parents. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember <laughs> you that. Do it. You, you could probably it do it. Yeah. Nah, that's a lot of fucking work. Whatever, dude. You don't that's like shit. That's like twelve drawings. That's not that work. That's not. That's, not that's at least a fucking week of, of solid work. Yeah, dude. And then you can sell it. Nah, man. I'm internet. like, I got to do like maybe two hours of work. Go play a little bit of disc golf. You know, <laughs> have a shit. You think you disc golf? Have right a shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the shit you're into now? Yeah, that, that means going to the bathroom, right? Yeah, have yeah. a schwitz. <laughs> what if you Drink got a to, bunch of milk and have a big old schwitz? As you go in the schwitz, and then you just shit in there. Ah, <laughs> you uh, you're right. It's better in here. <laughs> you, take, uh, you take a big dump. Uh, <laughs> like, fuck. what have you done? <laughs> like, you called it that, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm taking a nice I, I thought fits. that's what you were supposed to do. The air would just be <laughs> fucking heavy with shit <laughs> particles. <laughs> Just be like, <laughs> it would just get vaporized. <laughs> That's what I thought a Schmitz was. I'm sorry, dude. Why would they make the names so, so close to just taking it? Yeah, just taking a shit on the coals, <laughs> yeah. the steaming hot yeah, it's coals. It's too hot in here. <laughs> Let me get a little more shit steam. <laughs> just diarrhea just get into it. the coals. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it steam a little bit more. Oh my I'm god! A I, I, I'm, taking like. I'm taking a nice steamy. I'm taking a nice steamy. Shitting on the coals. Ah oh, fuck! Yeah, no, I might go for a little hot air balloon ride. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> Take a shit. In that thing. <laughs> Take a shit in the little heat. The part that yeah, makes it go up. Okay. This episode you know, is for us. You, you <laughs> fucking rent the hot air balloon and you shit in the basket. And come back. It's great. Thanks. <laughs> 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 you guys are like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a terrible <laughs> That sounds great to me. Uh, Shitting that high up, overlooking like oh, a mountain. What a view. Yeah. What a view. I'm gonna do that. You got to take it all in. Yeah. 
It would be great, too, to just you jack off off a hot air balloon. Mm-hmm. And some guy's walking to work. He's like, oh, great. A bird shit on me. <laughs> a bird shit <laughs> into my mouth. That's like a, that's then somebody's like, like, you know, that's good luck. <laughs> that's like a joke from Airplane or something. Like that that's level joke, of comedy. Yeah. 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 You mean high higher level? I love Airplane. Don't you ever try to disrespect It's a home. great movie. Yeah. I especially like the scene where everyone's lining up to beat that woman. <laughs> <laughs> Get Fuck. a hold of yourself. I used to love that. That was like one of the movies I could watch as a very young child that just had complete tits in it. Absolutely. Yeah. And it was like, why am I allowed to? Because it's like stupid. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Porky's was too. No, Porky's was straight up about like yeah beating peeping on women's yeah. locker rooms. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that when I was like six. And everyone something. got. Oh, everyone. They got a whore and they all fucked her. Right. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't ever seen Porky's, but um, I yeah. Got the major plot points. Yeah, it had a whole like staring at women in the shower thing, and you like to do that, you pervert. I'm I'm actually me tooing Porky's the movie right now. Why? Because it's it's disrespectful. It to takes women. place in the fifties. Yeah, and Porky's is what? It's a bar, right? It's like their to? hangout. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Or like it's like the the Max or there something. Was yeah, I remember the box for Porky's in Blockbuster as a kid. I remember thinking, like, man, if I could be that guy. Right, that, that guy is <laughs> so cool. Through that hole. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck, dude. I could be a horny voyeur. <laughs> I don't want... I, I don't get when people like watching other people fuck. Really? I want to get in the mix, man. I don't want to watch some other guy oh, fuck. Oh, you're saying, like, like in a cuckolding scene? Like, or you don't want to be the sweater and dockers guy? Just Well, yeah, that for sure. But yeah. also just, like, I don't understand voyeurism, I guess. I want to, because it's not, um, I want to be in the mix. Probably some shit from childhood, right? You saw your parents fucking or something. Yeah. And it fucked you up. Have you, you seen your parents to join? Fuck? You know what's uh, about voyeurism? <laughs> yeah. Of course. Stav, well, my Stav, parents Stav, let me when join. Pa- Stav's parents used to have sex and his mom would take Stav's round body and wedge him under her hips to <laughs> pop them up higher. So oh, pillow, yeah. Like dad could get, what's that thing could they, get to the real deep spots. So they advertise a bowling ball Stav. The liberator. Shoved under his mom's ass. They're like, wait, I just want a snack. I want to have a snack. And like, shut up. We're pounding. <laughs> we're pounding. That'd be nice, Mommy and daddy are pounding right now. getting their pound off. My parents fucking suck. Mom's getting railed out. Um, yeah, that was that thing that they advertise in the back of porno mags the liberator which is like that triangular foam thing that a woman yes. puts her ass up on so yeah, yeah you yeah. can hit all Have the back walls no but if you put a pillow under a girl like while but you're nice having triangular sex with her, one seems like it would it seems like it would be really nice mm-hmm. you know what i'm gonna write a letter to the casper mattress company and see if they make can one rig yeah. me up one have you ever used what's the weirdest like sexual accoutrement You've gotten in the mix. I, I, I put a gun in a girl's ass. One time. <laughs> Is that real? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, fucking AR fifteen, <laughs> right in there. Bump. I stock. would not be surprised <laughs> if you literally put a gun in a woman's ass, no. just drunk as shit. <laughs> no, no, I've never done that. That's so scary. Is it? Remember the Sopranos? She Janet. What what do you mean? Fucking uh, Ralph? Hold on. What's the question? Weirdest sex accoutrement? Like a toy Does or piss like piss count? I guess, but I mean, I've I mean, done a like lot a, of piss stuff in my life. Really, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just drunk. Um, no, and you know, it's not even really something that I'm you into. wanted. Yeah, you just keep drawing women that want to be pissed on. Well, no, there's times where I've attracted it, but sure. Which you know, it's funny because like, and I think I've said it before. The nicest part about it is like, it's just really nice to be able to go to the bathroom. And <laughs> 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 you get your dick sucked and you're like, sure. man, you I don't have to, to get piss. up. And you're like, okay, I guess I'm just piss. <laughs> it's just really nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like being an astronaut. I'm focused on the mission. I don't have to worry about going to the bathroom. <laughs> uh, <fuck. laughs> yeah, there was one. I've never pissed on anyone, but I'd be open to it. Um, I have. 
<laughs> How did you feel about it? I yeah. remember you were also tying bitches up. You had like, it's funny because you're, I had that you're one girl. The, you're probably the horniest on the show, but me and Adam have had a lot more sex than you, and we've done a lot. Mm, we've done a lot more no, shit. No, I fuck a lot. You know, it's a character that I do. The guy who doesn't fuck. No, nah, you're like the you're like the guy that didn't start smoking <laughs> weed until he was 22, and he's like fucking Pink Floyd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I am. I'm, I'm that guy in <laughs> sex. Yeah. 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 Have you guys tried? Like, have you pussy? ever heard of the Doors? <laughs> <laughs> Someone like, told me that I'm 26 what's his years name? old <laughs> Someone told me Doug Benson Didn't try weed Until he was like 39 years old <laughs> I believe that Well dude. Doug Benson's Old as shit dude He's like A lot of people Don't know he's like In his like mid 70s <laughs> <laughs> Yeah he's really old I'm Eskimo Brothers with him Apparently nice. that video yeah, You both pissed At each other's mouth you guys yeah. <laughs> No but uh, but One of the women You pissed Yes <laughs> yeah, Of course That's yeah. the kind of woman The woman that fucks Doug Benson <laughs> Gets pissed in her mouth yeah, we're getting stoned. <clears throat> um, yeah, what was what were we saying before that? Oh, the sex thing. Oh yeah, mm. you're using ropes and shit. Oh yeah, that one girl wanted me to do all that like Abu oh, Ghraib the, stuff the, to the her. Paracord girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, had, you, had to, you basically can't fuck her unless you're a Boy Scout. <laughs> unless yeah. you got your fucking. I needed yeah. to know like all the nautical badges. nautical <laughs> yeah. knots. Yeah, that was the same That's girl. A double bowline, matey. <laughs> that was the same girl who was like, yeah, my ex boyfriend was a real sex nerd. And I was like, I need to. That's awful. I need to leave right now. A yeah. sex nerd. Yeah, because he like he had a lot of he had like a library of sex books, this like shit about is like so fucking about lame. how to fuck or something. I'm just trying to get this Nutterino off. <laughs> That's fucking stupid. That is dude. the. It's quite literally the gayest thing I, I've I, ever I, said. I'm like, I don't even get my dick hard anymore. Yep. You know? I'm done. I'm post, I'm post hard. I'm I just post yeah. erections. <laughs> I just. You know what? Because honestly, that makes it harder to piss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking that's, true What you want to create that the uh, truth. This tiny little bit of cum mm-hmm. Or Just six hours Of pounding Dunkin Donuts coffee <laughs> right. Worth of urine <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm talking about quantity, not four quality. liters of urine. <laughs> I'm talking dark, yellow, brown, <laughs> syrupy, <laughs> syrupy, <laughs> leaving nutrients. Your hair will smell it. like piss for three weeks. After. Coffee. <laughs> like, my mattress is destroyed. You're like, you're welcome. <laughs> Yo, Elvis told me this one story. This girl fucking <laughs> shit <in> the bed <laughs> while they were while this date was inside of her. <laughs> and my man stuck around. <laughs> he had a nice shower. She changed Wait, the sheets. Did, did he finish? Did he, he finish? Got, oh, yeah. She he got finished. shit on his balls. I don't. I didn't think he missed him. But <laughs> she how? Pooped. I don't know. Man. She was on the bottom. She pooped. I don't know the exact. It, listen, he he probably got shit on his balls and he didn't tell me because he didn't tell me until months after because yeah, he was shit on my balls. And he's probably not gonna be thrilled that I told this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, she pooped the bed. Uh, My man just hit, hit the fucking shower. <laughs> Good for him. Stuck, dude. Stayed in the mix. What man. a legend, Elvis. I wouldn't. I, shit stuff seems wild. The people that shit on each other sexually. <laughs> I'm not into that at all. Uh, <laughs> scat play. Yeah, that's weird. There was this girl I, I hooked up with when I was like 15 or 16. And uh, like I didn't even really know her that well. She just like lived in my neighborhood. Yeah. And like that used to be enough. It was like, oh, we live in the same neighborhood. Right, 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 right. You should, right. Like just have sex while your dad's gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, she was like Filipina, and nice. she fucking. Uh, so yeah, we were like hooking up, and she's like talking about. It. She's like, yeah, my friend went to the Philippines, and like she hooked up with this guy, and he like asked her to like shit on his chest, but he said it in like whatever you know tur- tag along. Yeah, yeah. Whatever their language is. Tangalang. And she's like, and it sounded like really hot, but like in that language. And it's like, you know, when she told me that, because you know, I wouldn't be into that, but like the way she right, described right. it, she's like talking about it. And Wait, like, I didn't, how old I didn't, were you? Like 13? No, I was like 15 or 16. Damn. And I didn't put it together till later that like she was implying that she, she wanted, wanted to get yeah, you, she wanted shitted to- on. Did she want to get shit on? Or did she want to shit on you? Uh, well, uh, first of all, neither of that's happening. Would you would you squat and shit on someone? No, I'm not. No, <laughs> that seems horrible. First of all, I'd have to. I'd be checking my phone. I don't like getting. Like, I don't like doing the, any ass eating stuff. I don't. I mean, I'll do I, it if someone's into it. But I'm like, I don't like ass getting, mix. I don't like getting my ass eaten. I've had an ass uh, revival recently. Mm. Yeah, in the last. You've been having years. gay sex. <laughs> yeah, I've been getting my ass <laughs> fucked by my, uh, strangers. By an ass revival. Yeah. Uh, no, I was like, I was kind of put off by. 
the concept of anal sex until like the last couple of years. Oh, I'm in the ass mix right. big yeah. time. We gotta take a break real quick. Okay. Do we gotta do the? Um, God damn it, dude! The fucking uh, uh, um, Apple <laughs> Mail app just got it's fucked up. Every, okay, here we go. Taking a break. Um, and you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna just roll right into it, guys. Uh, oh, dude! Sh- I'm shut the fuck shut up, up, dude! He's Come on! God fucking, damn it, dude! If you don't want to listen to Adam, t- I'll say I, it I'll after. Tell you what, if you if you're enjoying all this sex talk, maybe <sighs> take your pants off, mm. throw out whatever underwear you're mm-hmm. wearing, the damn garbage, and pick up a pair of Mac Weldon underwear from MacWeldon.com. Mac Weldon is the best underwear in the entire world. Hell yeah! They believe in smart design, premium fabrics, and simple shopping. You can go online to their online store, which uh, we don't even have. You know, that's how hard it is to set up is mm-hmm. that I haven't paid a guy to do it yet. Yes. So Mac Weldon has. It's a very easy website to navigate, and they got great products. Uh, they got the most comfortable underwear, socks, shirts, undershirts, undershirts, hoodies, and sweatpants that you'll ever wear. And they got a line of silver underwear and shirts that are naturally Ooh, antimicrobial, bitch. which means they eliminate odor. I personally don't smell, so... You know, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I imagine imagine smelling like me all the mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. Uh, just yeah. a very clean individual. <laughs> yeah. They want you to be comfortable. So if you don't like your first pair of underwear, you can go ahead and keep them and they'll still refund you your money. No questions asked. Wow. That's a pretty great policy. A lot of places you just try the underwear on and they call the police on you. That's right. That yeah. happened to me at Models. <laughs> yeah. That happened? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm standing there in the middle of the Nike rack, uh-huh. squaring up with the mannequin. The I compression. Was yeah, yeah. Full erection. <laughs> and and they called the police on me. Can't believe that. Uh, and not only do Mack Weldon's underwear look good, socks, shirts, uh, they perform well, too. Um, they're great for working out. You can wear them to the gym. You can go out on dates with them. Mm-hmm. Uh, you look good both flaccid and erect. And in hard the in the hard underwear. And trust me, I've tried this out. I brought a pair of Mack Weldon underwear to that same model <laughs> to see if I would get arrested wearing them. And the answer is yes. So I can't promise that you won't be arrested multiple times for getting a full erection mm-hmm. wearing uh-huh. underwear in the middle Wow. Motels, models in downtown Brooklyn, but uh, you, you can go to MacWeldon.com and get twenty percent off using promo code Cumtown C U M T O W N all capital letters. Check them out, uh, MacWeldon.com, and we're back. We're back, baby. That is yeah. a really sad models, by the way. Downtown Brooklyn models, the yeah. two story models. They never, they never have. Oh, is it two stories? There's a second story. Oh, you're talking yeah, about yeah. the one at the, near the Fulton Mall. I'm talking yeah, about yeah, by the, Fulton Mall. I'm talking about the Atlantic Barclays. Mall, oh, okay, yeah. which is also shitty. It's big as fuck but they never have any of the stuff i like right uh, i went there to get some gloves and they didn't have them yeah yeah that 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 atlantic barclays whole shopping center is you know, the other thing i hate about mess. models is the only they only have like nine xl sizes because uh, everybody yeah, yeah. they never restock the the normal people sizes. right and it's like it's fucking athletic wear right why do you have fat people sizes uh fat people are athletes too no they're <laughs> some fat people are i'm sorry athletes. being wedged under your mother's ass <laughs> so she can get people <laughs> she can get pounded are out incredibly <laughs> strong yes i had the core strength that to is support not... my full grown mother that's yeah. a baby athlete my more bitch. like apple core strength oh <laughs> apple shit yeah that you <laughs> You're wrecked. Yeah. No. Blown the I'm fuck around. out. You're you around. fucking idiot. <laughs> Guys, we should uh, we should go do paintball while it's still cold. I'd do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You should get some cigars and go to paintball. <laughs> I'm going to be... I'm all sober. I had a wild birthday drug dude. Oh, yeah. Weekend. Tell us about it, Stop. Yeah, tell us about your, okay. your well, fun cigars birthday. Cigars aren't drugs. I'm not smoking shit. I'm just... I'm, my body's a temple. Except... Come on, dude. You have cancer. Not yet. Hopefully not. We'll yeah. see. I have. He said it's some kind of growth. I have to get a fucking biopsy. You don't have cancer. So. If it was a cancer, it would have tore through my mouth. He said, but I do have a growth that's moved my teeth. That's fucked so up. So something's gonna have to come out. I'm gonna have to have cancer. It's gonna suck, dude. Nah, you would you probably don't have. Surgery. Surgery. I'm gonna have to have surgery. surgery. That, surgery. that other gum thing that's happening is you yeah. have some sort of like. Gum disease where it's like ossifying. It's not. It's the bone. Or, no, no, no. It's, well, yeah, it's a growth in the bone. It's, I it's know, but it's your that. gums. It's because you're Thank so you, baby. Thank you, Doctor Nick. Dude, you're so <laughs> baby like. <laughs> okay, why ahead. don't you let me fucking explain get, my goddamn get theory? It. First of all, call me a baby. Guessing is the uh, uh, I didn't basis guess, of all scientific knowledge. Yeah, that's true. Because a guy like me was like, you know, what it probably is <laughs> is you put a you tie a key to a kite, mm-hmm. and that's how we prove that the Jews are trying to control the government with symbols. <laughs> the symbols that they love so much. Yes. And was he wrong? No. He wasn't wrong. And now he's on the $100 bill, the highest 
on him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And who you talking about? That the, really hurts the, the eye Jews. Pyramid guy. The fact that he gets to be on it. Yeah, it's their favorite thing. Is a hundred dollar bill. The eye pyramid guy. Yeah. No, Benjamin Franklin. Oh, I Tanya. That movie, movie wasn't very gotta, good. Yes, I, it was. I no, it, it wasn't. Yeah, You're it was. a fucking idiot. It was, it what was, was bad about it? It was all right. It was like fake Goodfellas. Shut up, you I fucking I thought that hater. Alice and Janie and I thought What's Her Name Janie. were both really good. Okay. Um, so two of the biggest characters were really good, <laughs> yeah. but it was a bad movie. Yeah, Anyways. I didn't like the way they made it. I got a good, good. I got, yeah. a, I got, a, I got nice. a good bit out of it. Go ahead. What, what is, is it? it? No, I did it at the stand the other night. What is nice. it? Well, you know, the whole movie, the premise is it's like uh, it's like oh, it's this poor white trash girl competing in a rich girl sport, uh-huh. and it's this underdog story, and it's like yeah, sure, that makes sense in the context of like only the American athletes participating in. Figure <laughs> right, skating, right, right. I mean, it's like not for all, the rest of figure skating at large in the world. It's like, poor people. Well, I mean, it's global poor. I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 like the uh, uh, I watched figure skating this year, and I got a, I got a glimpse at this big gay Chinese man. Right. <laughs> no one knows how old he is. That's how. <laughs> you, like, uh, I'm sorry, but fucking Tanya Harding has a birthday. <laughs> right. Right. And no right. one knows how. This guy doesn't know how old he is. He's just somewhere well, in his you, 30s. There's you count no the rings around him. his cock. I guess. Uh, but anyways, it's like, you know, you think her mom fucking hates her. Imagine uh-huh. you've aborted nine of your daughters. <laughs> and you finally have a son. And he's like, well, da, I want to be ice dancer. I want to be ice dancer. Found a way to sneak fucking, in the Chinese yeah, voice. <laughs> not cigarettes, but full opium pipes put out on that kid's fucking head. Because he brought shame to his family with his ice dancing. <laughs> Anyways, I That's did that good. at the stand. So guess who now has four jokes where I do a Very Chinese nice. voice. <laughs> Congrats, man. I call that my China chunk. <laughs> uh, my China chunk is the erection I get when I watch yeah. One Night in One China. One Night in China. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're Joni fun. Lawler. You're, you're, you're a non-functioning chode is a China <laughs> chunk. How dare you? My dick's been working like a charm recently. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh oh. Yeah, man. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's just been, oh, I've been meditating. You have? And I, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so stop. Tell, tell everyone so what funny. you did it's for your birthday. Like, well, hold on. It's like, you know, like meditation is kind of bullshit. It's like yeah. all this stuff that's I like, don't think it is. Shut the fuck up and let me finish what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> for points. You're just Continue. once. Continue. <laughs> Just for once. Man, just finish your thing, dude. Just for one time. I didn't interrupt you. For once in your life. For once in All right, my do life, your meditation I have had chunk. Guess that All right. So meditation is something that, you know, like white people here do. But in uh-huh. China, yes. you know, there's a guy sitting there like, oh, I do meditate. <laughs> yeah. Five. That's five bits I have now. Five. <laughs> Woo. Let's throw Ch- another one on the China Chuck. <laughs> Get that China <laughs> Chuck nice and fucking plumped Woo. up. <laughs> um, no, but I mean, you know, just that like, uh-huh. people, like, it's like Zen in particular or uh-huh. whatever. It's like, this is a, a, a religion or a philosophy for people that sit and do rice farming all day long. Right. right, right. And you have yeah. to find a way to not kill yourself. With because how dumb and repetitive your life yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not for like somebody that makes $80,000 a year and they're like, my hair's going gray. You know? <laughs> right. How can I feel, how can I become more of a yes. narcissist? Seinfeld uh-huh. is big on tra- transcendental meditation. Yeah. yeah. It's like you're a fucking billionaire, dude. He's a billionaire and he's mm-hmm. a bad person. Yeah, it seems like Yeah, way. he is a bad person. But uh, I don't know the guy personally, you know? Although didn't he he would he like date like a child at some point? Yeah. He dated a child with big yeah. ass titties. A seventeen year old. He pulled a Dane Cook. Yo, Dane um, Cook, have you seen Shauna, pictures? what's like, her uh, name? He's like that uh you know I confuse his uh I always confuse uh, Larry Nasser and Aziz Ansari. The <laughs> doctor? <laughs> yeah. I always mix those two guys up. <laughs> I love him. All, they're both funny rapists. people. Sure. Yeah. They're both rapists. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, regardless of the details, mm-hmm. there's no reason to go into the details. Right. They're both equally bad. <laughs> Their dicks they're both, are both tiny. They're both sex criminals. Sex criminals. And there's no... It was disrespectful to the victims uh-huh. to to draw any differenti- differentiate Differenti- between the two. Yeah. Uh-huh. There's no reason to do that. That's true. And that's the thing we need to understand with sexual assault is that Larry Nasser and Aziz Ansari are the same. 
Uh-huh. You know? That's right. <laughs> in the same way that they're both some kind of Indian, you know. Yeah. I don't need kind to, of some uh, some type of yeah. yeah. Maybe I Paki. I don't need to know the details Sandy. because it would be racist to know the details. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 And yep. There's, so there's no reason for me to figure out what they did. I agree with you. That's a good. They're point. also both guys I didn't think were very funny until about two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> you think Larry Ness is really funny now? Yeah, it's got hilarious. Get, the plain yeah. bit, yeah. They're more like Hilary Nasser, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hilarious um, Nasser. Wait, what were you saying, stuff? Larry, oh. the, Larry the cable, Larry Nasser the cable <laughs> no, guy. Oh no! Wait, what? Get her done. Dane Cook is fucking a child too. Yeah, nineteen-year-old dude. Right Dane now? Cook looks gross. like fucking looks Harvey horrible. Weinstein. Yeah, now. he literally he he looks. looks Exactly Bad. like Harvey Weinstein. Really? No yeah. joke. Yeah, he's got the f- a fucked up, lumpy ass, weird body. Yeah. Speaking and, of, and you, uh, no, not speaking of anything. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's funny because in his Instagram pictures, he uses all that like Chinese like face smoothening software. Yeah. yeah. The shit Chinese people use to like make them. Oh, he look really white. does look like shit. He looks oh. like Harvey Weinstein. Dude, it's he's horrible, like fat as shit and stuff. Yeah, and, like, I'm weird on ways. a Mexican whoa whoa radio. Um, oh yeah, what's wrong with his fucking skin? I mean, it's, yeah, it's all like photo, like bad Photoshop. Yeah, it's like Korean girl selfie. Yeah, that's what I said. Filters, Chinese app. Um, anyway, I did a bunch of fucking drugs. I took a bunch of edibles. I took uh, acid and then did mushrooms uh, on my birthday. I've run out of drugs, dude. I think I might get into cutting. <laughs> <laughs> like a depressed teenage girl, dude. I follow this girl on Instagram. Nobody follows her. It's like a, it's a hidden gem I found. Mm, Some nice. like depressed teenager, but she had like the funniest fucking post yesterday. It was, uh, here, let me see. I hope I die soon. I think it's the name <laughs> of the account. <laughs> it's a good account. I die soon. Let me pull this up. Is that the name, her handle? Yeah. Yeah, we started late, so I'm probably going to order a burrito on the phone during the show. Hit them up, Lucha Lucha. They don't sponsor the show. We're just big fans. That's right. Actually, I got hooked up there once. Yeah, here it is. So she posts. It's just a picture with text, and it says, wake the fuck up, uh, punctuated by periods. So it says, depression is not special. Anxiety is not cute. self harm scars are not beautiful. Suicide is not poetic. Eating disorders are not glamorous. You don't fucking want them, you know. And then her caption is, at my school, I know people say suicide jokes and do drugs for fun. I know a few pretty girls who cut for attention. I know I smoke because I need to relax. I drink because I don't want to feel anything. I cut because I can't take everything going on in my mind. I cry because everyone has something to hate about me. I sit alone because I know secretly everyone hates me. I put pills in my mouth waiting to die because I know everyone would be happier with me gone. Let's face it. It's the truth. Uh, Ten likes. <laughs> That's tough, dude. Yeah. She probably, I'm guessing she didn't have a chill childhood. I mean, it, what's going to happen is this girl is going to fucking in six years be like 22 and just work as a temp and be like, <laughs> I'm really into micro brews. <laughs> <laughs> this is just, just like well, just, I don't this know. Is, no, this is typical dumb teenage bullshit. Sometimes there's nothing particularly interesting. Yeah, about that's, I know not, that, but not, also sometimes every single fucking teenager feels this way, and if they don't, then they're like, then those are the people that should kill themselves, you right? Know? Because right, they, right. they got a, a pass. Well, sometimes those people though that cut and shit and they've got like got like ultra molested or some shit. Yeah, well, I think I, cutting I mean, is like it's way more. Girls than you oh, would oh, oh, Ultra yeah. molested the, duh, the biggest molestation possible <laughs> the, Ultra multiplier <laughs> Molestation multiplier <laughs> mm-hmm. right, I'm gonna call this burrito in right now um, Yeah that's I mean I, I I feel like I should just throw that girl a like or something, right? Is that what you're we saying? Uh, you're going to start messaging her, probably. <laughs> Shut up. You're fucking, it's so hard being You creep. Teen. <laughs> you're a fucking creep, dude. No, I'm not, dude. Not me. I just follow these teens and laugh at them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're the, <laughs> you're, the, mean, you're the normal one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're the cool guy. These fucking assholes. Here's the poem up. posted. Oh, they don't Shh. fucking pick up their phone sometimes. It's brutal. Yeah, I get really mad at that. You need a breakfast burrito, dude. You're you calling... You, you can are, do it on Seamless. You are calling a burrito place mm-hmm. because you don't want to wait. He has to go to... No, he has to go to, to, go to work, work after man. this. Wait, just uh, Seamless it. And is there an option for pickup on Seamless? Maybe. I'm just going to call back. 
<laughs> I'm gonna stay on this fucking line forever. Um, I'm sorry. The double call back. I want to speak bad. to your manager, please. This is bad listening. No, it's not. It's I've good. been on the phone for t- 20 minutes waiting to place a burrito order. Bro, I have a job to go to. Yeah, dude. Uh, what's his name? Matt Chrisman's friend used to work there, and he he hooked me up with free burritos a couple. Did you times. kiss his mouth and his penis? No, but he had a, he had a cool um, <laughs> Milwaukee <laughs> Felix. Yeah, his no, only no. three friends. <laughs> no, his friend from his Amber, friend from Wisconsin, Amber, Texas, <laughs> Amber, Texas, aka Virgil, Texas, his Alexis, girlfriend. Texas. Is Virgil Texas's Whoa. mom? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna start that rumor. What the fuck? My call cannot be completed. Damn, the world dude, is really Lucha, trying to Lucha stop me just from getting a damn burrito. Damn number, dude! I can't believe it must be so embarrassing for Virgil to watch his mom get railed out like that. What happened to Alexis Texas? Uh, she's a senator, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> it's her and John Cornyn. I don't know what happens to all of them. Don't they just become like? Just become whores or no? They, they, they like become, become moms. <laughs> they become like they just they become, become whores. You know what I mean? Like seriously, don't they become like escorts? <laughs> seriously, they become like high-end escorts and they become strippers. No, and shit. well, Jenna Jameson's just like uh, likes Israel a lot now. Yeah, yeah. They become She's like a, a she real looks like agent. shit. Yeah, you real estate agent in life, dude. I mean, fucking look at look at Cal Penn. He was uh-huh. Kumar from Harold and Kumar, and then and now became, he's a porn star. They became Obama. Obama's friend. <laughs> yeah. And now he's back to being Kumar. Oh, is he? Are they rebooting it? No, I don't know. But he worked in... I, I, I can't imagine he has the same... What was he in charge of? Like, communications? Hi, can I put it in Yeah, like, for, maybe it was like, like, like millennial Marino outreach or something. Yeah, yeah. You got chorizo breakfast? Uh, no, just that. Okay, well, like, either... Do the podcast or have <laughs> yeah, your phone it call. Don't don't <laughs> don't speak the phone Stop. call into S-D-A-V. the. <laughs> no no no. This is good. This is making yeah. it real three dimensional. He's like, my name's Stavros, and she's like F A T S O. He's like, yes. Yeah, <laughs> <you>. What? That's <laughs> 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 weird. Actually, if you uh, rearrange the letters in Stavros Halkius, you get very fat. So no, I don't think that's true. <laughs> There's you no do. F in my name. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah, stop why <laughs> stop yeah. no I'm including this the the written out sound effects of you breathing while saying <laughs> <laughs> no I breathe beautifully dude yeah I've been breathing really bad on this episode. Adam's I think I have a cold nose. yeah you don't have a cold um don't lie don't lie to the the fans of the show well they can find out if I do have a cold tomorrow night at Caroline's on Broadway Caroline's which we sold out by the way yeah, yeah, so there out. will be Andre's Steakhouse shirts available mm, yeah yours be, true they look good. golden they angel look shirts good. as well they fit good I don't have any shirts they got a nice little athletic cut to them that's nice do they? I, I tried one on guess what uh, you will be if you get in a medium. You're gonna maybe one of you will get to wear the shirt I fucking wore. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna sell it. Uh, you're yeah. not, gonna you're not even holding on to it. Nah. Wow. That's one, Nick, dude. He has no. He's not a sentimental type. Not a no. sentimental type. I'm also maximizing profits. I'm also paying it forward to the audience by not not keeping a single shirt out wow. of the yeah. he, fucking mitts. There loves, you go, he baby. Loves, he loves the fans, man. Yeah. Dude, I've, I uh, saw my friend for the first time in a while, Eric. Uh, last week and he was just going on to me about uh he's like dude he's like fucking he's like capitalism is religion you're a fucking bitch dude with your DSA bitch and then he's like I vote for fucking Gary Johnson <laughs> Rex Tillerson's the smartest guy in the fucking administration hell yeah dude it was so fun sex Rex sex Rex Dude, I, I, I totally State. forgot how much I missed Eric until last week, <laughs> like getting into a, like a freshman dormitory argument with him, like in a bar he's in a Williamsburg. Yeah, he's like a proud libertarian. It's hilarious. He's like, yeah, dude, I wanted Gary Johnson to get 5% in New York State. That's my goal. Uh, That's his goal. Yeah. Damn. Gary Johnson, I love that Gary Johnson stopped smoking weed. You saw he's that like, clip that someone <laughs> dropped last week of, of the uh, the... Driver's licenses from the libertarian no. debate. 
like for president Mm -mm. it was pretty funny it was like uh they're like should there be driver's licenses and everyone's like hell no and then (laughs) then gary johnson's like i'd like to see some qualifications that the entire like auditorium just starts booing (laughs) (laughs) god damn dude libertarians are so fucking stupid (laughs) they they also like probably don't want like an age of consent or like oh no way or like paved roads that are free to use. Only if it's only if it's maximizing profit. The market, dude. dude. Yeah, the market. I love wants the sweet, it. beautiful market. They think that like every he was telling me like every publicly funded project is like uh, like just bridges to like a place where there's like three people and it costs like five billion dollars. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> when he's right, he's right. <laughs> oh man. What are you gonna do for Valentine's Day, Adam? Um. Well. Is it Ash doing, Wednesday? Yeah, yeah, it's Schmutz Wednesday. How about Snatch Wednesday? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you got all that black on your face. <laughs> you fucking slag. <laughs> Just because you have cancer, you're going to do blackface, you fucking, <laughs> you fucking whore. Yeah. What, are you four years old? You think that because you're four, you have cancer, you can do blackface. <laughs> Not in my hospital. You get the fuck out of my hospital. <laughs> this is an hospital for models only. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you guys just be a model like me? Yeah, fuck that. She got a smasher? Yeah, she's, dude. She was all right. Yeah, she's she's pretty do, do Eiffel Tower, I, yeah. I, uh, yeah, dude. She got full Monty. Can oh, you imagine nice. how fucking gay it is for two guys to be double team very girl and then just be like, High this five. is our chance, the Eiffel Tower. Like, we can, we can finally fucking do it. Yeah, man. <laughs> Sounds awesome. <laughs> actually. <laughs> Yeah, you high five with your buddy, then the no, girl. No, it's not a high five. It's like kiss, holding hands. Then the girl leaves. You guys kind of rub cocks. You know, <sighs> once who knows where each other's cocks end up. You yeah, never know. It's like that's a real tribute to France and the guys who built the Eiffel Tower. That's true, Fuck dude. Fuck a man. That's that's the real Eiffel Tower. Yeah, you have such. If the you guy. go up to the top of it. If you Actually a lot of people Don't know this But if you go to the top Of the Eiffel Tower And you sit on it And you can fit the entire thing In your ass uh-huh. You can become president that's how, <laughs> yep, that's how Macron Got elected That's That's, yeah. that's the throne <laughs> That's why that other lady Who's a fascist Her pussy wasn't big enough Oh yeah Marie uh, Le Pen Marie Le Pen, Le Pen. She tried, but she Marie, couldn't, dude. Marine Le Pen. I love knowing things about French politics. Me too, yeah, bro. Dude. There's that. Uh, there was another, the third guy. Yeah, she was. Her name is Marine Le Pen. Charlotte Ruse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, Monsieur Aubonpin. Yeah. He was also yeah. <laughs> the, the, the prime uh, minister of France. Uh, yes, uh, the races of Vita France and Pierre Aubonpin. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Depp's character yeah. in Chocolat. Let's all rise mm-hmm. for the national anthem. Frere Jacques, Something about a something about Tipitinas, Solemn Molatina, or some shit. Dumb me off. my dick off. And then also the phrase omelette du fromage from Dexter's Lab, that one episode. What was that? You remember that episode? No. Where Jackster keeps saying I'm with you from us. Met mon pinois dans tu bouche. Mm. Put put my penis in your mouth. Yep. Oh, is that what bouche means? Yeah, bouche, bouche is, mouth. is mouth, right? Yeah. yeah. J'aime le, le bou- pussy. You didn't know this whole time that he and they speak French. The force, the force du boost. The, the power of busting. <laughs> j'aime j'aime du boost. <laughs> boosting. <laughs> uh, j'adore boosting. <laughs> j'adore le boost. Yeah. <laughs> j'adore boosting. <laughs> j'adore joie de boosting. <laughs> the la vie de boost. <laughs> <laughs> the life of busting. <laughs> <laughs> you never saw that movie by. Uh, uh, that was my favorite movie. By Godard. Mm-hmm. By Gay Tard. How about Gay Tard? <laughs> Thank you. God Hard. <laughs> nice. God Hard's also God good. Hard. Uh, All right. Well, how about Luke uh, Beats Offson? Beds. Who? Luke Bess. Beats on. Be- beats, beats on. Beats on. Beats off. Beats off. Beats on. Luke Beats yeah. off. But 
Yeah, man. Yeah, I love the coming king. up with riffs. <laughs> <laughs> this one really. <laughs> you heard nah, that? Good shit, here, baby. Having jokes and stuff. Coming yeah. to that live show it definitely is it going to be an hour of this kind of bullshit. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. It was kind of yeah. To do one right before the live show, but whatever. We have twenty four hours to reach. Oh yeah, I got. I I didn't sleep last night. Yeah, and I think we can all agree that it's up to me to figure out the riffs on the show. I got, sure, I, uh, you know, Adam's the gay one. Yeah, I'm, I, the, I'm sort of the sheriff. Mm-hmm. You're you know? not the sheriff. I'm the fucking sheriff, and don't you ever say I'm not the You're sheriff. You're a damsel. Yet. A damsel? Yeah, you know what I am. A what? faggot. I'm G- the. <laughs> <laughs> got him. <laughs> what are you? I was actually going to say the town gay guy. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys got it right. Congrats. Jake. Sheriff, somebody <laughs> tied the town gay guy up on the railroad tracks. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and see. But Sheriff, if he dies, who are we going to call the slurs? <laughs> Darn tootin', you're right. <laughs> Fellas, I'm getting a posse together to help that pussy. <laughs> the pussy. <laughs> the pussy. Who's the sheriff of the pussy posse? They deputized the rest of them. Um, Leo uh, just rode a horse to I think yeah, Toby Blaine. McGuire's house. No, yeah, David, David Blaine, Blaine had the st- wore the wore yeah. the the tin dude the shield. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna take a piss. I think you know, and then maybe leave. No, Is, are we done? We're not done. We're how, still we still have to do the How much more podcast. time do we have? So you can't piss. I'm pissing right now. All right, well. Well, that's fine, dude. Let's yeah, let's talk more about what if the pussy posse were a real old west uh, uh, posse, right? You know, I'm getting tired of this. I have to go to work nonsense. Of stops? Yeah. We we should get him fired from his job. We should get him fired from his job. We should do something despicable on this podcast so that someone associates him with this podcast. So he, they're like, "We, you have to fire him because he's associated with us." Here we go. We can talk about this while he's not here because he doesn't know anything about it. Corruption charges suggested for Netanyahu. Oh yeah. Well, you know what it was, dude. Fraud. Nope, it was my interview on Israeli news. Yeah, actually, this is what right before you did the Mac Weldon read, the guy, the producer from the Israeli news show, who I guess booked Patty to talk about uh, Fraser, yeah. just texted me and said that he'd like to have Stav on. Stav's getting called up to the big leagues, dude. What does he have? Why does no one to ever... talk about body positivity? <laughs> no one ever has. No one <laughs> asked me to do anything anymore. Well, my my man Philip, dude, he'll he'll ask you. Fuck Philip and fuck that. That show. I'm not doing You'll it. You'll probably see him. Nobody uh, fucking asked me. Carolines. I never get fucking asked to do a goddamn thing, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of not getting. Any, what are you talking about? You not did, get, as sheriff for this fucking podcast. I'm tired of not did, getting any uh, respect. Greg Gutfeld and the Red Eye. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. dude. A couple of hot appearances on. You had some Fox News. You had some. Uh, is uh is is what's her name still on Fox? Cat is she still doing that stuff? Cat who? From D.C.? Cat Timp? Timp? Yeah. I think so. She's still a pundit? <clears throat> I believe so. Well, that's wild. Uh, <laughs> we, oh, yeah. So, anyway, the guy that had me on Israel I-24 News uh-huh. wants to have you on to talk about body positivity. <laughs> and he's wondering if you got his email. I did not, but uh, I guess I'll, I'll read it. Yeah, well, you know. My appearance resulted in uh, Netanyahu getting. Oh, this is funny. Um, they found that his son. Dude, real quick, this it's won't not be funny. Be good. Yeah. No, it's not going to be funny. <laughs> well, it's kind of. We can talk about it on our podcast. It's kind of related, tonally. But they found his son, Netanyahu's son, like is a Pepe, and he was like sharing. Like it is kind of funny. Pepe memes on his what, Facebook Felix page. Felix Peterman? <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was like sharing memes of like uh, George Soros looking like a lizard person, like holding like strings with the globe on it. Yeah. And like, yeah. And like, just like anti-Semitic. <laughs> like, really? Yeah. And then David Duke was like, this guy rocks. <laughs> he's like, he's cool. David Duke, always, um, when he co-signed shit. And then it actually his son, Netanyahu's son is. is the worst guy to be into is Jordan. Peterson who is that guy he's like a, he's Canadian, like a Canadian professor, professor yeah. his whole thing is like logic is the oh. you know, it's like you know, there's no such thing as being trans <laughs> yeah. apparently like oh, the yeah. first <laughs> chapter of his book is about s- sitting up straight <laughs> Oh yes, <laughs> it's about sagging, not, not having bad not posture. sagging your pants. Yeah, your pants, your pants, not sagging your pants. All right, well, 
I gotta go. So boys. many guys have sorry posture. You gotta you go. What time? Do, what time do you have to be at work? I was supposed to be at work at one, and I'm not gonna be at work at one. No, you got so, plenty of time. No, there's no chance. Twenty five minutes to, to get, get from bed stuy to Madison Square Garden. Yeah. I could do that shit. You Luckily, could take a they tri- didn't take a car. I guess I took a car here. Luckily I uh they didn't send out a call sheet, so I'm just gonna use that as an excuse. But I know what time I'm supposed to be there. All right. Well, I guess that's and, the and I still have to get my time. burrito. Uh and as the sheriff of this town, good luck and good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.